Welcome into another Joint Movement TPTs video. This weekend, Ryan and I are visiting Sedona, Arizona. Well, that's kind of fun to say. We're meeting another travel physical therapy couple um, that we've became friends with over Instagram and this is the first time we're actually getting to meet them and their sweet son so we're excited for that we're gonna check out the hiking in Sedona today and hopefully catch some yummy food at the end of the day too so we're gonna take you along it's already gorgeous we have this is like the second or third time that we have gone east in Arizona and it is such a different feeling. It's so much more mountainous and green and um, that's just a nice change of pace and change of scenery. So it's been gorgeous and we just got our first glimpse of some of the mountains, the Red Rock Mountains, and I think that's kind of what we're going to be hiking today. So come along. First stop is going to be Cathedral Rock. This is a very popular hike in Sedona and I think you are actually required to either pay an entry fee for Cathedral Rock or you can use your National Park Pass. But the rest of the hikes in the area um, are free or you don't need the Park Pass for it. There's other hikes such as Devil's Bridge and the Soldier's Pass and things like that. So hopefully we're gonna check out at least two of those today. It's a gorgeous day, it's in the 60s. Then tonight we're going to be dispersed camping with our rooftop tent. Hopefully we find a gorgeous spot to stay, but it is supposed to get down into the 20s. So we are gonna bundle up and just hide away in our tent <laughs> until it warms up. And typically how we roll is we have not found where we want to stay tonight, and we probably won't start looking until we're done hiking when the sun's starting to go down. That's typically typically how it goes. Thank goodness that here in Arizona, and really just out west, there's a whole lot more dispersed camping <laughs> yeah. around um, compared to east, where we'd have a harder time finding places to camp for free. So that's why we can be how we are. Yeah, we are not the most planned or scheduled people out there but that's okay and if we can't find a place we're only two and a half hours away from home so we could always just drive back all right guys uh the sedona place to hike is officially my favorite because there's shopping and hiking and beautiful mountains all in the same spot there's a golf course golfers can come here chase famous footwear shoot this is my new favorite place to hike. Man, the only thing they're missing is a target. That's all I have to say. We are at the Cathedral Rock, not even the parking lot, because as you can see behind me, cars are just lining up on the road. There is a ton of people out. It is really nice. I bet it's close to 70 degrees here. Hard place to find parking, tons of traffic jams. It must be a good place. That's always a good sign. When there's a lot of people wanting to get there, it means it's a good hike. People are parking off road, on the side of the road. I'm pretty sure we parked somewhere where you're not supposed to, but there was other cars there. Hopefully no one runs into our vehicle. So Megan's running back to the car to put our National Park Pass in our window, which we always forget. And uh, you don't want a parking ticket. But then we'll hit up this Cathedral Rock Trail 
and it's already looking beautiful just here at the bottom. We've had multiple people come by and say, this was the best trail ever. So hopefully it lives up to that. And you can also look up and see tiny people working their way up to this, <laughs> this mountain, which is really cool. like a trail up to the top. I doubt it, but. Maybe there's people way up there. So very cool, it kind of went from a red rock sand trail to now we're just climbing up the big mountainside rock. And you stay just kind of in between these little pillars of rock right here and this is where you get breathing hard but it's fun you just kind of get to scramble across it and try not to fall while holding a camera look at look at ryan scaling that mountain with a baby on his back <laughs> that is Oh my god, he must train. He just he just puts little brick in that backpack and just does push-ups at home, I swear. This is a good this is a good little hike, a good little climb. And then at each part you can take a little break and just look out to the beauty behind us. turning around to film the views from this rock but then we go up just a little further and it's just better so pro tip when you get to the end of the trail and you'll know because you'll see the end of the trail sign very convenient. Yes. You don't have to end there. There's plenty of trails off from that to go explore the cathedral rocks. Mm -hmm. And we highly suggest it because it's beautiful. This is really cool. It's uh, reminiscent of Zion a little bit. This cathedral hike uh, is a lot of going up vertical like cliff faces and it's a lot of fun, but it is challenging. And if you're afraid of heights, you might be a little uh, shy, but you should do it because the views are amazing. Yeah, so you get to see Sedona, like down in the valley, the Valley of Sedona from these big rocks. And just, we sat up here and ate lunch with our friends. And it was just beautiful just to get to relax and enjoy the labors of climbing up these rocks. So we've just finished Cathedral Hike. It was awesome. The views were amazing. This valley and these whatever you call these little red mountains are amazing. Alright, so the hike was amazing. Definitely worth it. But here's the deal. Parking is bad. There's not a lot of parking and there are a ton of people here. Especially on a really nice weekend. It is 71 degrees out. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's packed. Now what we chose to do <laughs> was we, we followed suit of some other people parking on the side of the road on your way down to the parking lot. And that is not allowed. Not that we knew that. We just saw other people parking and thought we can park here. Well, we ended up with a $40 citation ticket. And at first we were super bummed. And then on our way out, further up the road, we saw a tow truck towing cars away. And we were like, probably one of the last like four or five cars on the street. <laughs> yeah, it was packed when we came in and now coming out of, of the hike, 
there's not very many cars left and that is because they blocked off the entrance to the hike because it was so backed up and jammed with cars. Alright? So, don't park on the side of the road because you could get a $40 fine or you could get towed away. There are a lot of cool <laughs> stores here in Sedona. Um, lots of little bitty ones you can go in and out with. Megan got a shirt. And one of the cool stores we went to was a little bee store. So they had tons of different honey products. All things you could think of. Honey, they even had whole honeycombs that were cut right off of the... The honeycomb. Yeah, beehive. Full honeycombs, it was really cool. That was cool. I've never seen one of those in person and I didn't quite know that you could like eat, eat them. them yeah but we didn't get that we did buy some whipped honey to try next time we have biscuits at home I think the whole thing about whipped is that it's more spreadable and seems fancier so we thought we'd try it sun is going that down is cool. so we will see a few more stores before we go find some dispersed camping Whew. well good morning everyone it is chilly it's about lower 30s right now, 35 maybe. Definitely a cold morning in the tent, but we stayed pretty warm, snuggled up in our sleeping bags and a billion blankets that we have up there. But I'm ready to get up, start making some coffee on our little camp stove, and um, just outside our tent window is two, and now I see a third one, um, air, hot air balloons. So we have mornings where we wake up early, we just kind of get a energy bar for breakfast, and then we hit the road because maybe we're going to go see a hike or tour a national park and so you have those early mornings but we also appreciate when we're in a good camp spot like this morning just being able to make breakfast relax make some coffee and just sit and enjoy actually where we're camping at um, I think that's one of the best things I remember about camping when I was younger is because you'd get to wake up get out of your tent zip yourself out of your tent and then just enjoy looking at that tent door um, to a beautiful nature wherever you're at. And so that's kind of what we're going to be doing this morning. Later we might go check out Devil's Bridge or Soldier's Pass here in Sedona. We are not at our camp spot anymore. We are at the, well really not even at the trailhead of Devil's Bridge. No, we're <laughs> quite a ways down the road from Devil's Bridge and we're parked on the side of the road again. So did we learn from our Lesson, no. <laughs> no, so we went up there, we were trying to be good people and get in the parking lot here at Devil's Bridge, but there's only like 15 parking spaces. Yeah. And those were filled because there's probably about... 200? 200 plus? people. Vehicles? Vehicles here, yeah. Not even, <laughs> I'm sure, car loads. Just at this one trailhead, so not enough parking, and there's just people lined up along the main road here. Um, there's no, no parking signs. Let's hope for hope for the best. Not another parking ticket in the same weekend.
It's a lot of pressure. There's all these people waiting. So when we first got here, they had the big line starting at the beginning of the rocks, but really it works better how they have it now where you kind of stop before it so you can pass your phone off to the next person. You run over there, take your picture, and it kind of starts that routine. So if you're here, hopefully that's working. Otherwise, you'll have to do a kind of a half selfie where I was on the other side and Megan was on the Devil's Bridge. Uh, still pretty sketchy. I don't know if I'd felt comfortable walking out there, <laughs> so I'm glad I was on this side. Yes! Still here, and I don't see a ticket. Woohoo! <laughs> that's a victory! That is a win! Well, we found a great little place to kind of stop and pull out the uh, camp stuff and make some sandwiches. Yeah! Got a nice little Grandma. view of the valley. Grandma McFarland would be proud. Yes, Grandma McFarland would be very proud. <laughs> Always making little sandwiches. So thank you guys for joining us this weekend in Sedona. I hope you got a little taste of how gorgeous it is and what this town is like. I know that I knew Sedona was a favorite of a lot of people's, but I wasn't quite sure what to expect. It's got the beauty of a national park, but it's a town that people live in and they're shopping and great food. So it basically has it all. So if you want to come, you should because it's just beautiful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so we know that you're watching. Comment. We love to read them and hear from you guys. Um, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We have really enjoyed just documenting our adventure with travel physical therapy and getting to share it with our family back home and with new friends like you guys. It's just been a lot of fun and it helps us really sink into the area that we're at and look into what makes it special and unique. So please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and until next time, see ya! Ha, ha, ha.